Look at me real quick. All right, okay, look at the camera. Okay. All right. Test one, two, three. Look at look right here. I can't help it. I know. Right, I know. Right. Look right there. All right. What's up, guys? This is Lodo. I and your boy Joaquin Alexander in the studio today. I got Fat Cat, Mrs. Fat Cat, hailing from Palestine, Texas. ETX baby. Now how, you know how we do. Anyways, what you doing today, girl? How you doing? I am fabulous. Fabulous, honey. Fabulous as in fabulous or fabulous? As, no, I don't know. <laughs> what brings you in the studio today? Um, I'm here to explain. Okay. And I'm ready to talk about my brand, Pretty Girl Sandwich. Okay. And Fat Cat. And just let everybody know what I got going on. When you say Fat Cat, do you have a Fat Cat or are you just a Fat Cat? It's just a nickname. Okay. It's a nickname, but it was brought about to give people attention, like, who, you know, so. So you, it's a play on words, in other words. Basically. Okay, because you know, men are kind of perverts, and especially them old men, so they be like, fat cat, you mean you got a fat that? pussy? <laughs> like, nah. who is that? No, but that uh -huh. is what normally people like, why the hell you? But it, you know, it's interesting <laughs> because when you you have to stop, and it, it, it makes you pay attention to the person. Mm -hmm. So where, um, where are you from? Born and raised? Born and raised. Well, actually, was born and raised. I was a premium. You was a premium? Yes. Okay. How, how early? Uh, I, I don't remember. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you have any siblings, a family? Yes, I have one brother and two sisters. Okay. What about your parents? Are they still living? Yes, they, they are still living. Okay. Hard. That's good. Oh, okay. Parents still working? Okay. Are, are you, are you a, is your family very close? Yes. But, like any other family, we all have our little teens, you know, so. But, um, that's one of the things that, you know, I try to put my brain to, you know, family. I love family. My mother, is there fathers involved? Father, were you married? What's going on with that? No. That's actually really good because you don't really. The, the stigma is always that like black women have the media manipulation to people thinking that they're always angry and all this other shit. You know what I mean? And East Texas, what I want my subscribers or viewers on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere is that East Texas is very communal, very community, you know, and family oriented. So, would you say that your whole unit from your kids and your grandparents, your whole family is pretty strong? You got strong ties? Yes. Okay. Where the, where did you go to high school? Now there's Palestine Westwood and Palestine. I went to Palestine High. Okay. I was a shout out to all the Kit Kats. Uh, you see me out on social media. Y'all looking good. So I did drill team um, for three years and participated in all sports. Okay. Anything I could do, I was in. You're very outgoing. Yes. And to be around people who work as a team. Okay. Team What's your zodiac sign? I am a Pisces. Shout out to my Pisces. Yes. It's a water sign. I'm a Cancer, so hey, maybe, maybe that's why we already have good chemistry because, you know, Cancer and Pisces usually stick it out, you know what I mean? Yes, and I'm all about making sure everybody get along. This week, so. Getting al along. Yeah, I thought you said getting alone. I'm like, hey, to, no, I want everybody to get along. You need a billion happy. dollars. <laughs> get your bag, you know. So that's how I am. Um, I like to believe. Okay. Uh, Palestine is known. Uh, Adrian Peterson's Palestine. Do you have any type of relationship, or do you know him personally, or anything like that? Ad. That's what we talk about. Yeah, all day. A great football good. player, man. Great football player. Yeah. yeah. And happy for his success. Watching all the time with my family, watching because they don't play sports. Yes. He's real life goals, especially football is life. Yeah, it's East Texas, Texas as a whole. Um, now I don't know much about Palestine. I mean, I, I know a little bit. What was it like growing up? Was it a lot of racial tensions that everybody get along with each other? Were the teachers very supportive of the students? How was it like growing up in Palestine? Um, it was a lot of racial tensions. Um, I was raised in a very 
I didn't experience or start seeing them race, or I didn't see that in my school. We all were the same, right? The same, everything is perfect, it's the same fun. Um, the teachers are very supportive, making sure you know you got your education, you can you know, pass and work to play. And I just remember my high school being fun. Okay. Um, it started, school started getting fun, friends wise, and being socialized once I got to high school. Okay. One of my high school coaches, uh, Booker Bowie, well, I don't know if you know the name, but he was high head coach at Palestine. He came from Chapel Hill and he coached uh, Adrian Peterson. So it's kind of like small world, you know what I mean? Um, it's very, very, I actually reside outside of Palestine right now. I can't wait to get back into the That's good. Just overall great. Let's run and then we'll be good to go, okay? Yes. All right. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Fat cat. She has a fat cat. 